Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to root your Nexus 6P on the latest Android N beta build. So this is the NPD35K and we're going to be rooting this today. Not by traditional means I guess, we're going to be using CF auto root by Chainfire. Now if you, if you already have a decrypted data partition, you can pretty much root the normal way by flashing TWRP and then flashing the SuperSU zip. But if you have yours encrypted like mine, which are you probably do, a lot of people might have that. I'll show you how to root it uh, without flashing TWRP and all that. All you need is an unlocked bootloader, which I presume that most of you already have, um, unless you took the OTA up. But you'll need an unlocked bootloader for this, and we'll get started right away. So first off, all you need, is, what you want to download, or what you want to go is to go to autoroot.chainfire.eu, and it'll say it's beta, still in testing, and you just want to click on jump to fast boot flashable devices up in the top corner over here. So we'll click on that and we want to go down so we can find our Nexus 6P by Huawei. If I just zoom in here, I'm not sure if you can see this properly but here it is, it's highlighted. If I stop moving, you can see it's for the MPC 56P and that's right, I think that's just the build before. Uh, just download it, download this one. Unless they have new ones that come out, um, all you need to do is just down the one that's most relevant. So this is the most relevant one, of course, although although we're on the NPD35K build. So just click download, and you're going to be greeted with this page over here. Just hit this download link at the bottom of the page down there. Uh, that's all you need to download, and once you've downloaded it, you should get something just like this. We have the zip file here, CF auto root. Just extract all those files into the folder. So you're going to have something like this. We're not going to run the batch file, because that will unlock the bootloader if we haven't already, and we don't need to go through that. So what we need to do is tower, uh, sorry, power down our phone, let's turn it off, have our USB Type-C cable ready, and we're going to boot our phone into the bootloader once this thing turns off. So once it's off, hold the power button and volume down, and just hold it there until you get into the bootloader screen. You can see a little green Android there. If it doesn't work, just let go and try again. There we go. And what you want to do is plug in the cable. Just like that. Once it's plugged in, head over into the tools folder. You can see our fastboot windows.exe. I want you to hold shift and right click. And you want to click on open command window here. And that'll give us to our tools thing. So I'm going to remember that the executable name is fastboot windows. I'm going to go back uh, one folder, go to the image folder. And what we're going to do is boot the image. So we'll check that our um, phone is connected and detected. So it was fastboot dash windows. It's probably better if I put it in the middle. Okay, fastboot that win dash windows devices. You can see it's in fastboot. Now we can type in fastboot dash windows or just fastboot if you're using um, the Android Tools folder. Since it's already included, I might as well use this. So we're gonna hit, uh, we're gonna type fastboot dash windows, put boot on the end, leave a space here, and all you need to do is drag in this image onto the command prompt like that. Select our command prompt again and hit enter. You're gonna see it's gonna boot it, and this is what it should look like pretty much immediately. You can detach the USB cord. So you can see it's uh, patching our boot image. So quite similar to what it would be like if it was flashed through TWRP. Uh, it'll note that your phone may go into a couple boot loops or crash like that. You're going to enter your decryption passcode a couple times, uh, just like the normal thing. And hopefully it boots up. So it's going to restart in 10 seconds. And I guess we can just sit through all that. I'll just fast forward it, make it all speedy and we'll see you on the other side. I already have a root checker app there. So we'll wait for this phone to boot fully and we'll see if it's rooted or not. So as you can see we're booted up here. We can get that thing out of the way. 
I'm gonna slowly come in, load up all our stuff. And we're gonna see down here in our apps tray, we're gonna see Super SU. We can open it, and you can see it works, alright, 274, and we just have a notification for the Android beta program, which is fine. We're gonna go over to the last page, open our root checker app, we're gonna have, tap on verify root. Hit grant, that took a little bit. And as you can see, we are rooted on Android N. And on the, of course, the latest build here, the MPD35K. So thanks, thank you guys for watching. I hope this tutorial served you well and that it was quick and easy and all that. So thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this. And also share with others that might need help. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.